Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics and I am going to show you a couple of my favorite booths at Aquashell. This is not an exhaustive tour. I'm sure there will be plenty out there, but there was some tanks and some vendor booths that really stood out. I want to bring those to you. Appreciate you being here. Hope you enjoy the video. So we're going to get right into it. I'm going to show you one of the coolest tanks that I saw at Aquashella Dallas 2021. And it was this. There were about 250 peacock cichlids in here along with that turtle. It was a great tank. Spent a lot of time checking this one out. I'm going to take you through just a couple of the tanks that I really enjoyed. A couple of the displays. This is not going to be an exhaustive tour of Aquashella 2021 Dallas. There will be plenty of videos out there, I'm sure, that will give you that. I just want to focus on some of what I thought was really cool. Towards the end of the video, I'm going to take you to a booth where someone is doing some cool stuff. I was rather impressed with what they're doing, so I'm going to show you that as well. But this, I think, was the tank. When you go to Aquashella, Dallas, this was the one, I think, that caught everybody's eye. It was a really large cylindrical tank. I just love the way the fish behave in this tank where they're constantly in motion. You can see some tinfoil barbs there as well. And in this kind of a setup, temporary setup, where it's only going to be up and running for a few days, it works out fine. I've actually had tinfoil barbs with peacock cichlids before without any issues whatsoever. I did like the use of the lighter substrate with these fish. Sometimes it works out well, sometimes they tend to wash out a little bit, but because you had so many different types of peacocks, I especially like the OB. Some of them were really, really pretty. See some dragon bloods in here as well. Just a lot of variety, a lot of really cool fish. The next group of tanks I'm going to show you here is from the Aqua Gallery. They were associated with Oasi. This was overall the best booth in my opinion at Aquashella. They had a great display in the previous Aquashellas as well and it was one of those things where there are so many tanks to see and they're all done professionally by professional aquascapers or semi-professional and they just they're really mesmerizing to look at all the different types of tanks. That was the other thing that was cool is they had smaller nano tanks, slightly larger nano tanks and all of them, the aquascapes were really well done. This was also the booth where all of the YouTuber and aquascaping, uh, aquascaping challenges happened. So it was really kind of, this was the place to go if you wanted to see a lot of tanks that were well done. like some of these more these lower profile cube tanks as well for those of you who are familiar with our fish room and you've seen the 50 gallon low boys it had kind of that feel wasn't nearly as large but it, it's a more manageable tank so for those of you who like those low boys these are the types of tanks from Oasi that you might want to consider just because it's a little bit easier to fit obviously with these being custom sizes finding lids and things like that can be a little bit more of a challenge but it's well worth it if you really enjoy that sort of look I got a kick out of this tank. It probably took a while to get that driftwood shaped like a spider web, but in the Halloween theme that Aqua, that Aquashella was going for, this tank kind of fit the bill. Really love the aquascape here. Love the use of the fish. This was one of my favorites in the booth. This was Joanna's tank. She actually competed in the aquascaping contest, took second in the people's choice and third overall. I thought that was pretty cool. Very proud of her for that. I really like the scape and it's it's hard to imagine, you know, even a couple years ago looking at her scapes and looking at what she's doing now and it's just, it's come so far. It was really cool to see. This was actually one of the tanks in the entranceway that I thought was neat. There was a lot of very young and boon in here, but I love the lighting. I often talk about how I like tanks that have uh, a dim side so that fish can go there. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take you to a booth here. We're gonna do a little bit of a live interview because again, I was impressed 
with what this young lady is doing at a young age to try to fill a need in the aquarium hobby. What's up everyone? I am here in the Cats Aquatics booth. Here we are. Here we are. I wanted to show you this booth. I wanted to show it to you because you're doing something unusual and I wanted you to just for a minute, a real quick little minute, tell us your story. Like what, what is this thing that you're doing? So I'm a crazy snail lady, shrimp, snails, everything inverts with a shell or an exoskeleton. And I decided to take the calcium deficiency in the entire market into my own hands. So I created a whole bunch of different calcium tablets and I made sure to make them all natural. Each of them have from seven to 12 ingredients to make sure that they're all whole foods. This is our, funny enough, our pumpkin spice. It has literal pumpkin. Like you see the pumpkin, I'm gonna go over here for a sec, right here. This legit pumpkin is in there. And it's really awesome because it provides all the nutrition, everything that they need, and it gives them calcium at the same time. And it's different because this calcium actually doesn't dissolve into the water. Wow. So your pH and TDS is not gonna fluctuate like the other calcium. Now, one of the cool things is that you, when you told us your story, you actually developed this in high school? Yeah. So yeah. this is what I'm talking about. This is the kind of cool stuff that's happening in Aquashella, where you've got somebody who you recognize that there was a need as a high school student. Yeah. You worked on this product, and now here you are, and you've got a booth at Aquashella, and these are really cool. So a lot of times people ask about, hey, what can, what can we do with snails to strengthen their shell, right? And that's the yeah. ultimate goal here is to keep the snails healthy. Now, is this a food that you would feed exclusively or is it more of a supplement or how would you? Yeah, that's the awesome part. So I wanted to make it a staple food because I didn't want it to be a supplement because I had trouble. They sell those hermit crab supplements, which it was really difficult to dose because the pH would go up and then the hardness would go up and you could literally overdose it. So I made a really cool combination where you could just throw one in and it's a food and a supplement at the same time. That's so cool. Yeah. So your social media, how how can they find you? How can they learn more about what you're doing and look at this product? So mostly right now, I function mostly through Instagram because I don't know, as a teenager my age, that's what we were doing the most. So that's what I was most comfortable with. So I have my Cats Aquatics Instagram, my Facebook as well. And I'm actually looking to start up YouTube. I was recording the whole Aqua Show experience. I mean, I'm a thousand miles from home. So it was definitely really interesting. That's so cool. So I will put Cats Aquatics information down in the description below in case you want to learn more, in case you're interested in this really cool stuff you got going on. Thanks for letting us stop by. Appreciate it. Thank you it. so much. It was honestly awesome to meet you and everybody here. So again, this was not an exhaustive list of all the tanks and all the vendors. There was so much to see. Highly recommend if you get a chance to go to Aquashella, it is well worth checking it out. If you want to see more of what a typical Aquashella looks like, I'm going to put some videos in the upper right and lower uh, right hand corner so you can see what Florida looked like and see what Chicago looked like. Hope to see you at an Aquashella in the future. Appreciate you being here and we will see you in the next one.